Hey guys, this is Leland Baptist. And today I wanna to answer a question that many of you may have, right? Your question is, or the question I get a lot of times is, what is commercial finance? Like, what does that actually mean? And here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna basically read what Wikipedia claims that commercial finance is, and then I'm gonna to go to the whiteboard and I'm gonna give you guys a more in-depth personal um, definition of how we define commercial finance at Lee Chandler. So Wikipedia says the following. It says, in the United States, commercial finance is the function of offering loans to businesses. Commercial financing is generally offered by a bank or other commercial lender. Most commercial banks offer commercial financing and the loans are either secured by business assets or alternatively can be unsecured where the lender relies on the cash flow of the business to repay the facility. Assets used to collateralize commercial finance loans include real estate, receivables from invoices, equipment, or supplies. While qualifying for commercial, excuse me, while qualifying for financing is generally easier for large, well-established companies some small businesses can qualify for commercial financing from the Small Business Administration, also known as the SBA. The SBA may provide either financing or insure a lender who takes a risk on a smaller company to provide commercial finance. Businesses can also seek the assistance of commercial finance advisors in structuring and source, sourcing of commercial finance. These are known as independent financial advisors or commercial finance brokers, all right? So this is how Wikipedia defines what commercial finance is. So with that being said, I'm now gonna go to the whiteboard and I'm gonna actually go a little more in depth than Wikipedia and let, let you guys know how we define commercial finance when it comes to Lee Channel. All right, guys, welcome back. So as I mentioned while I was sharing my screen with you, is I wanted to basically give you guys the definition that we use for commercial finance, okay? Now, of course, Wikipedia used a few things that I think was somewhat vague, and I wanna make it more palatable so that it makes better sense for everyone at home, all right? So at Lee Chandler, the way we look at commercial finance is it is the realm outside of traditional finance and lending. It's the realm outside of traditional finance and lending. Traditional financing um, is, at some times, it can, be, it can be slow, right? And if you guys have ever got traditional financing, you know that there's an underwriting process that someone goes through. You know that there's a lot, there's, there tends to be a lot more paperwork on the front end for traditional financing. Commercial financing typically was meant to be quicker, all right? Now things change as regulations change and there's some kind of friction there. But what, you, what you're able to get through commercial finance that you won't find through traditional financing is you're gonna get basically more creativity. That creativity comes in the form of raising capital, right? That's where people come together, maybe like a fund or other investors put their money together for one objective to invest, maybe to buy a business, maybe to invest in real estate, things like that. You also have the ability of what's called asset-based lending. In traditional financing, they typically underwrite the borrower, they underwrite the asset, and in some cases, they may even underwrite the insurance that's wrapped within the actual loan. And so what that means is, if the asset is good, great. But if the borrower is bad, no deal. Commercial financing, with the exception of some, some basic 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 requirements for a borrower if the as long as the asset is good and either the asset is producing income or it has the potential to produce income in the future then the great thing with with, with commercial financing is that this is a-okay all the time all right what also strengthens this is whenever someone has a track record or they're willing to couple or partner with someone else who has a great track record as, as well makes your deals go a lot quicker all right also, you get the benefit of what's considered to be, in many cases, unsecured debt, unsecured debt. Traditional financing, for example, um, 
a person may go to get a loan for, let's say, to buy another piece of property, all right, for their portfolio. And the bank, in some cases, may want to make sure that person has a full-time job, right? They want to then look at the property management company, okay, and verify the experience, things like that, things like that. And then they may want to go ahead and have that person do some cross-collateralization on all the other assets that he or she may own. Commercial finance, not so much, is typically going to be based on asset by asset. And in some cases, they offer unsecured loans for commercial finance. All depends on how that deal is structured and how that debt is structured. You get more creativity to structure your debt with commercial finance. You get less creativity to structure that debt with your traditional financing. So when you hear about deals are being made on Wall Street or someone's buying out a business, that's 99% of the time commercial finance. When you hear about someone looking to live in their home, someone wants to live in their home, right? That's traditional financing. When you hear about someone looking to grow their business, um, but then they had to cross collateral with like, you know, everything they owned in their life, maybe their children too. It's a joke we make, um, you know, but hypothetically, let's say they did have to put the children, children on the line, right? Um, that's more traditional. A lot of times for, for, uh, for churches, it's a great example, oh my gosh, for church finance, church loans, for traditional financing, they want that church and they, they want that church as collateral. And then they also want the, um, the matriarch or patriarch of the church or the keynote speaker or the uh, pastor to actually get what's called a key man insurance policy. And that's something that if you guys want, we can go into another video about what is a key man policy and how it works. But that's typically something you find in traditional financing, all right? So once again, if you just think of one thing that will differentiate between traditional financing and commercial finance, it's gonna be creativity. Thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video.